<laughs> My boy Lenin. Living his best life. Look at this. How are you, Tiger? Got a little fresh trim. He's got his hairdresser Joe come to see him. Do his hair. Wow, look at that. <laughs> How cool are you looking? <laughs> He's quite his, isn't he? He's been tucked away in here. <laughs> Where's my little man? Let's see his new haircut. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Wow, how cool are you? You can have all the girls after you're in there, shall you? Woohoo! How good is that? Exactly. Yeah. Cool, isn't he? Hey! <laughs> Hello, welcome to Park Avenue. This is mine and Laura's family home we designed and built this in 2018. It's quite a large house, there's about 5,000 square foot. Throughout the entire ground floor, we've got these beautiful porcelain tiles, underfloor heating as well, which makes it nice and cosy. But this for us is kind of the heart of the home. Kitchen area at one end with a large island point here, nice socializing point with the breakfast bar. And then once we finish cooking and our guests are here, we can sit around in the dining room area and enjoy our food. Well, today is quite a, how would you say, a sad but a happy day. It's the kind of end of an era. Many of you might have watched our blogs and videos over the years of our dream build where Laura and I designed and built our dream house, which of course we live and work from. But the time has come. We are putting it up. Dare I say it? We're putting it up on the market. We're selling it because we have some future plans and they may not even be in Merseyside. So watch this space. Hello, welcome to Park Avenue. Come on in. So this is our family home that Laura and I designed and built in 2018 and we've been living in here ever since. And I've had two children as well. But it's a beautiful home. We designed it with a nice open plan feel to it. This ground floor has got over 220 square meters of porcelain tiles right the way throughout. We've got a large kind of island area here for the kitchen. When our guests arrive, we sit around it on the breakfast bar, we have some drinks and we do our cooking there. Once we've done the cooking, we then sit down in the dining area and enjoy the food. When the kids are here eating with us, we can pop the television on and watch it there. But once we've had enough of sitting around and eating and we really want to chill out, we walk through the rest of the area, straight into the lounge, where again we can sit back, pull our feet up and watch the television this side. Ah, so that was an interesting one. <laughs> We've got our two cameramen here, Jake in that corner and Nick over in that corner there. But they've not been filming this morning. We've had two other filming. What did you think of that, guys? Having other photographers in the house? Bit weird. He's not happy, are you? Know, no, he's shaved his beard off and everything. Weird. He's been threatening about other cameramen <laughs> coming to the house. <laughs> Made him shave his beard off. Yeah. But yeah, what what a kind of an, um, a weird, surreal moment it is, actually, because... I did never think when I was designing this house that I would ever, ever probably move from it. But I did design it when I didn't have children. And life changes, met Laura, got married, had children. Circumstances change, you know. Uh, we're kind of wanting to move predominantly for the children's future. Uh, give them a better, a better kind of education. Um, we feel that the, the area where we're looking forward, looking into moving, there is better opportunities there. Um, certainly with schools wise for their ages often. Not that there's anything wrong with the schools around where, where we are. They're both in a great little nursery and a great reception school. But uh, we're looking for a, the bigger picture, the more longer term one. So it will be quite a big uproot. Uh, us moving, not only moving home, moving life, business and everything, you know. Don't remember these two guys here. They're not even listening over there. I'm going to be coming with us or not. We've given them the option. <laughs> but they're, they're home beds, these two. They aren't, aren't you? Home beds. They, just, they, abroad, you know. they enjoy their family cooking a little bit too much. And if they if they moved away into the Midlands with us, there'd be nobody to pick up their dirty underwear off the floor and things. <laughs> in their bedroom, wouldn't it? So it's hard going to get them to move. And we've got 
a couple of the girls working with us as well, haven't we? Darlene and Jen. Um, we don't we well we don't think Jen will be able to move. Of course, again, her life and family and everyone are all here, uh, and her kids and things are schooled and everything here. Darlene, on the other hand, uh, her child's grown up and is leaving school now. I think she's going further education next, so she may move with us in the Midlands if we can persuade her. Who knows? Watch this space. Lenin, stand nice and straight, mate. Put your heels back to the wall. Put your heels back to the wall. Sydney, we'll do you as well. Come here. Look up straight. Now look up at mummy. Look at mummy. Nice and straight. Now then, here we go. Let's see. Okay, Lenin, you jump out of the way. Come on, come to mummy now. Set square, walk forward. Come on, you done now. So that mark here is Lenin. Right, yeah. next. So you are 9.1234, 9.494 centimetres. Nine, 940 mil, millimetres. Can you remember what Nelly used to be? Right, Nelly, your turn, nice and tall. We've got Nelly's marks upstairs on your one in your bedroom. Okay, nice and tall, feet against the wall. That's it. Now look up to look me. Look at mummy. Nice it. head, nice and straight. Lovely. Yes. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. So flat on Nelly's head. Okay, jump out of the way. There you are. That's how big you are, Nelly. There. <laughs> yeah. Well, initial these as well, but you are over one meter tall. What did she used to be last time? This is Lenin's. When you first looked, was she not 95? Uh, she was less than 95. In fact, come up to Nelly's bedroom now. Come and follow us upstairs a minute. Because we've got a mark on Nelly's one. Yeah, but we did it like two, three years ago. <laughs> I know. You don't grow very much. Very quick. A little bit like me. I'm 52 years of age. I'm still waiting to grow. That's it, mate. Up we go. I'm going to grow forever. Come on. Take it up here. Take your light on. <laughs> <laughs> You're alright, mate. Go and itch your bum. <laughs> so, this was set on the wall over there, and Nelly <sighs> on. I put my glasses on. The 5th of the 12th, 21. I'm holding this for you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, you were that big, which was nine. So let's take this one downstairs now to compare it because it's not. Well, you need to put that it. on the one downstairs. Come on, let's take this one down. Bring that set square down, Lenny. Good boy. Bye, everybody. Bye. Anyway, it's mine. <laughs> Bye. It's mine, so I have to take it down. Okay, you can. It's precious to me, and it's mine, so I have to take it Ooh, down. Ooh, okay. Um, and this is my oldest one. I, I can do whatever I want with this. You know when we got that one, first got that one, you put them against it, wasn't she about 95? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we didn't mark it and date it, did we? No. Whose fault's that? I wanted to and you were like, no, no, no. I've got some special markers I'll go to use. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. This is set now. Then it never so, happened. So, that's set at a certain distance on the floor where that one's 300. So, we set this. There's the seven. We set that at 700 there. That makes it eight, nine, ten. So, in February 21. Oh, that's the same. 19, 24. Yeah, yeah, they're the same. Yeah, that's right. They're the same. They're the same. Because that sets the same height now. And they're the same too? Yeah, yeah. And so on and so on. But anyway, look more to the point. This marker here. Now, Watch this. Watch stop. Yeah. I can touch so it look, without going on my tiptoe. Look at these two marks here. This one must have been Lenin. On the 18th of the second, 21. And this one. It was wasn't. The 12th. Well, then it was much smaller. Oh, so that was on. That was Nelly. Ah, so that was February. We've never done that then. that big. And then by December, you've gone that big. So you've grown that much now in 10 months. And now from there to there, two years, two years, 24, 25 months, you've only grown. No, that's Lennon. That's Len. No. So, darling, a nice. What's that in your hair? Was it kid stuff? Yeah. <laughs> we are. Well, we're having a bit of cheese and wine. That's all we're having is a little snack, aren't we? I'm not really very hungry. I'm a bit of chicken as well that was cooked. But um, 
We had an afternoon out today with a bit of food, didn't we? Because we thought we need to have a wind down. The guys were in video in the house. It's been quite a full on week, yeah. Yeah, it's been a full on week, hasn't it? So we thought we need to like get away from the house, leave the guys just filming because they were doing their the bit throughout all the rooms of the house. We done our bit all morning with them. We just thought we need some lunch, so we'll go and have a nice little dinner. Away, which was good one, it's just getting away from the house with everyone. So it's been a um, very productive day, hasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about the house sad. going up on the market? Well, it's got sad today, isn't it? I didn't mm. think you would. I'd be glad. I didn't care. <laughs> you, what, you didn't think you'd care? No. That's uh, no, I do that. care. It's been sort of, okay. it's been a lot of work that we've put into this house. We've been here five years now. Lots of sweat hours. Lots of sweat hours. Um, Lots of stress as well, you know, builders yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Been exhausting. I'm bringing up two children in here too, so it's um, been challenging, hasn't it? Yeah, but it's for the best. It's uh, still stand by. It's the right decision. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just wish we could pick our house up and put it in the middle and somewhere where we want to be. Mm. Yeah. Oh. But we can't, right. so the house hunt <laughs> is still on, has been on for over a year. Hopefully this weekend we're viewing another four or five other properties, aren't we? Yeah. Old ones, do it uppers, so they'll need a hell of a lot of work on them. It'll keep us busy for the next year, two years doing them all. Crazy. Right. <laughs> Building new TV studios, workshops, offices, everything there on the premises. So we've got what we've got here, you know. Maybe so, there's somebody in Warwickshire that's gonna watch this. Oh yeah. It's got a house. Mm. Oh has been a farmland, yeah we want land yeah. as well. Potentially might want a house swap. Yeah, I took it out hey, yeah, house swap, yeah, anyone wanna come up north? <laughs> Didn't think of that. Um and what was good, <clears throat> the guys today got a call from the estate agents, they bring their own video crew down, which is good and they do this stuff every day. But it kind of inspired us when they went, we had a bite to eat and we come back. I had a chat with our guys. We're going to actually do some filming here ourselves too because we've got the house looking nice now. And we've never really done a full tour of the house and showed everyone our entire way. We've shown bits and pieces of it around. So tomorrow we're going to film literally a walk around through almost every room. <laughs> As if it's still presentable by then, the kids haven't trashed yeah. every single corner of it. <laughs> well, good night. Watch this space. We're going to have a little glass of vino. <laughs> Bye. So, darling, I'm nice. What's that in your hair? Was it kid stuff? Yeah. <laughs> we are, we're, we're having a bit of cheese and wine. That's all we're having is a little snack, aren't we? I'm not really very hungry. I'm a little bit of chicken as well that was cooked. But um, we had an afternoon out today with a bit of food, didn't we? Because we thought we need to have a wind down. The guys were in video in the house. It's been quite a full on week, yeah. yeah it's been a full on week, hasn't it? So we thought we need to like get away from the house, leave the guys just filming because they were doing their the bit throughout all the rooms of the house. We done our bit all morning with them. We just thought we need some lunch, so we'll go and have a nice little dinner. Away, which was good one, it's just getting away from the house with everyone. So it's been a um, very productive day, hasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about the house sad. going up on the market? Well, it's got sad today, isn't it? Didn't mm. think you would. I'd be glad. I didn't care. You what? You didn't think you'd care? No. That's uh, no, I do that. care. It's been sort of, it's been a lot of work that we've, we've put into this house. We've been here five years now. Lots of sweat hours. Lots of sweat hours. Um, a lot of stress as well, you know, builders yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Been exhausting. I'm bringing up two children in here too, so it's um, been challenging, hasn't it? Yeah, but it's for the best. It's uh, still stand by. It's the right decision. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just wish we could pick our house up and put it in the middle and somewhere where we want to be. Mm. Yeah. Well, but we can't, right. so the house hunt <laughs> is still on, has been on for over a year. Hopefully this weekend we're viewing another four or five other properties, aren't we? Yeah. Old ones, do it uppers, so they'll need a hell of a lot of work on them. It'll keep us busy for the next year, two years doing them all. Crazy. Right. <laughs> Building new TV studios, workshops, offices, everything there on the premises. So we've got what we've got here, you know. 
Maybe nope. there's somebody in Warwickshire that's going to watch this. Oh, yeah. It's got a house. Mm. Oh, it's has got a bit of outbuildings. farmland. Yeah, we want land yeah. as well. Potentially might want a house swap. <laughs> Yeah, I took it out. Hey, yeah, house swap. Yeah, anyone want to come up north? <laughs> Didn't think of that. Um, and what was good, <clears throat> guys, today got a call from the estate agents. They bring their own video crew down, which is good. And they do this stuff every day. But it kind of inspired us when they went. We had a bite to eat, and we come back. Had a chat with our guys. We're going to actually do some filming here ourselves, too. Because we've got the house looking nice now. And Never really done a full tour of the house and showed everyone our entire work. We showed bits and pieces of it around. So tomorrow we're going to film literally a walk around through almost every room. <laughs> As if it's still presentable by then, the kids haven't trashed yeah. every single corner of it. <laughs> well, good night. Watch this space. We're going to have a little glass of vino. <laughs> Bye.